naturally fermented jalapenos. This is a very simple recipe, and you should always have a jar in the fridge. I'm going to have two jars in the fridge this week. The first step is you want to boil some water and let it cool. And I've done that. I've got some nice clean water, and I'm going to put in two cups. The recipe for this is below in the comments. I've got three tablespoons of kosher salt. And we're just going to dissolve that. Well, that's dissolving. I've washed and cleaned some jalapenos, and I've sliced them with the seeds in. I prefer the seeds in my jalapenos because it seems like the jalapenos, they bred the heat out of them. And uh, you can actually add some habaneros into this too, if you like, if you want it really spicy. But I have, I have the seeds in there. And I'm gonna sh if you don't want seeds, I'll show you a really cool way of, of doing this. The jalapeno, I've made so many jalapeno poppers that I, in the hundreds in each batch. The membrane is connected in three spots. So I'm using a metal skewer, one, two, and you just break it, three. You stir it around like this. You tap it. See? Totally hollowed out. So that's, that's how I like to hollow out jalapenos. Now what we're going to do is pack some of the jalapenos into the jar. I'm going to go probably about a third in there. That's a one liter jar. I've got two wedges of onion. I'll throw one in. And I've got two cloves of garlic and I peeled it. And I'm just going to cut it down the center like that. Put that in and put some more jalapenos in. So it's going to take probably a dozen or so jalapenos. We don't want to go too high because we want to be able to pack it with our uh, cabbage leaf. So that's perfect right there. All the jalapenos are in. I'll put in the last clove of garlic. I'll cut that in half. And the other wedge of onion. Our brine is dissolved, so it looks really good. What I'm going to do now is take a cabbage leaf. It's just a regular cabbage leaf. And I'm just going to fold it like this and stuff the top. And the reason for this is to hold the jalapenos down while it, while it ferments. So that's holding that down nicely. And then we just pour the brine on top of that. And if you have any extra brine left, you can just discard it. We want to take this up just to about three quarters of an inch from the top. So that two cups worked out perfectly for this. And now one little added step that I do is, this is a, a little piece of glass that I put on top just to hold it down like that. Now we can cap this with the lid. Um, I make so many jalapenos, naturally, naturally fermented jalapenos, that I have a special lid. It's a rubber lid. And when this off gas is on the counter, um, there's a little slit in the top of this and it will automatically, so this one here, this is six days old. And you can see the little slit in the top. So as it off gases, I can see bubbles coming up. I don't know if you can. And this is, this is finished, but you can put that on or you just go with a regular mason jar lid and we'll burp it every day. We don't want to contaminate this. We want to seal it up like this every day. Just crack it just a little bit and it should go pss, let a little bit of the bubbles out. So that is going to sit on the counter in the kitchen for six to 10 days. It depends on how warm it is. It's pretty warm here. So this one took six days to ferment and we're going to go till we have an olive green and you can see the difference in color there. This is olive green and that's just fresh jalapenos. Now when, it, when the time's ready, you can take the little glass piece out. If you don't have a glass piece, that's fine. And the cabbage leaf. And sometimes if it's really hot in the summertime, you might get a little bit of mold on the top. Just scrape that off, that's fine. Let's try one of these. This is gonna go really well with enchiladas, mochahete, um, 
nacho platter. We're having fajitas tonight. This will go really well. Well, that's perfect. I'm just going to seal that up like that. That's going to go into the fridge. And it'll keep for quite some time, actually. Don't leave it out on the counter. So this goes in, and that's going to be six to ten days. But this one took six, so that's going to take six also. These are my naturally fermented jalapenos. Thanks for watching. Thank you.